What is your Britannia faithful? It is myself, the rock star, Troy McCarthy, coming to you to give you the brand new instalment of Britannia Wrestling Encore. It's been a while since we've done one of these, but we figured you deserve the best. And the best includes all of the news on upcoming events, the day-to-days of the superstars, and the overall feel of what we're giving out here at Britannia Wrestling. So, I think the best way to start this new endeavour is with a small jump to the past, May 27th. Our show started with the news that we were missing not only our general manager, Don Micho, but our champion of Wales, his right-hand man, Phil Woodvine. And that led to us having a very interesting leader for the evening in the Honourable Miles Johnson? Jacobson? Either way, Tory boy came out with a point to prove. Matches to make and a night to set in motion. However, this didn't exactly go as planned as currently, well, not current member of Britannia Wrestling Drill had taken a seat in the crowd. On effort to remove him through security, Miles was pelted with nothing but pies and northern humour. Obviously, the crowd were amused by this. The commentary team, I'm pretty sure, would have been amused by this. One person who was definitely amused by this was our beloved announcer, Kim Rocks. This, however, didn't sit too well with our temporary general manager, who decided to give us some strong words going as far as to call her a bad mother. I mean, what happened next was she smacked him around the face, and I think any parent would have done the same. With this, he raised his own hand. Bad idea. The ominous siren began to circle around the arena. The family were coming. seems to be coming up miles as that weirdo DJ King joined in laughing with him. They were laughing and laughing and then the laughing stopped. And when the laughing did stop we saw Grod cut Miles Johnson in half. The ropes were open and he was ejected and just like that the family laid siege to the night. They claimed that they were running the show and after that, there wasn't anyone to argue with them. We saw them interfere in a terrific women's match between Lizzie Styles and James Sparks. DJ King again putting his hands all over people he didn't have right to. The family putting boots to people they didn't have right to. Luckily in that circumstance, CJ Banks, the juice, made his way to the ring and saw them off. That didn't count for much later though, when Juice was alone against Ry Lloyd. I mean, everywhere you look, this night had family written all over it. On something a little more positive though, the match between WWE UK superstar Joseph Connors and Britannia Wrestling Champion Pyro was one hell of a match. Two threw it all on the line, and luckily for Pyro, he came out on top this time, but I'd definitely like to see this match again down the line. Then came the main event. A combination of Quite a lot of animosity being built up between the icon, Dylan Roberts, and the icon, the babyface Pitbull. This match went to ridiculous extremes with the I quit stipulation being in play. I, I don't think I've ever seen either man push to the limits the way this match did. But at the end, it was Dylan Roberts standing as Pitbull refused to give up. But his body did it for him. With no way to continue, the ref was forced to call for the bell. Afterwards, both men climbed back to their feet. It looked like we were going to get a handshake, the recoming of two people that have been friends, rivals through the years, and a man I thought quite respectable in Dylan Roberts, threw his foot into the groin of the pit bull. I thought this match might have blown off the bad blood, but it seems like something's going on in the mind of Dylan Roberts. Whatever it is, it led to Pitbull being down once again. This time, when he looked up, he was met by the sight of that preacher DJ King offering him a hand. 
Walk away. A large group from the back led by our champion Pyro came out and made sure the family had no more say in the night. But, what's going through Dylan's mind? Is something going on between Pitbull and the family? I don't have the answers, but I can show you where to find them. Also, the family's Ray Lloyd's going to be taking on WWE UK superstar Saxon Huxley in a one-on-one -on -one encounter I can't wait to see. We also have the now self-proclaimed King of Britannia, and Dylan Roberts taking on newcomer Jack Griffiths. That's had a lot of buzz about him. Again, looking forward to seeing how he can come in and take on Dylan Roberts in his current mindset. We also have Chris Ridgway, who's been tearing up across the UK and Europe as of late, taking on the babyface Pitbull. How's Pitbull going to bounce back from his defeat to Dylan Roberts? Or is this just going to be a second L in a row for the former catchweight champion? We also have a huge tag team title match as the families of Wonderland take on the returning models. These two haven't teamed together for over two years in Britannia and we know what they can do, so this match promises to be off the chain. And your main event for the evening, the Britannia Wrestling Catchweight Champion Pyro takes on Sugar Dunkton, the US superstar, man who's known around the globe, has been with some of the biggest companies in the world. Once again, Pyro is going to have to step up to the plate and show what Britannia has got to the rest of the globe. If you can't wait till August for Britannia action, then rejoice. As Pride of the Port tournament is taking place at Ellesmere Port Summer Jam on Sunday the 29th of July. That's all the new scandal and gossip for this episode of Encore. Make sure you tune in next time to keep on top of everything that's going on. Also, drop us a like, follow, make sure you're up to date on all of your Britannia news. I've been Troy McCarthy, and I'll see you next time.